Um, it's been it's been really good. It's been really nice to see all the girls back, and I think for everyone involved to have a bit bit more normality. Um, obviously, we're ready to go at the start of lockdown for our first game of the season against Bradford Bulls, and everything got shut down. So it's been a long time from then to now for all the players, all the staff, um, and the club. But um, it's good to see them back. They've they've got uh, smiles on their faces. They've they've come back with um, a spring in the step, and they're looking forward to. To, to, to start over again on a, on a pre-season, um, ready for 2021 season. Um, tough that not everyone can train given the fact of, of Covid and things, but we've got majority of players back in and, and not had too many issues, so yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot of different things to try and keep them engaged and motivated and make sure that we're supporting them. Um, but like I say, yeah, their attitude's been really good, they've tried to, to, tried to keep together and um, They've bought into anything we've done, whether that's been you know virtual training on Zoom, burpees galore, um, or online cooking sessions with the the nutritionist Steph. So um, we're lucky that a lot of staff have supported the girls over lockdown, and we really appreciate that. Um, and we're um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to getting back to a bit more normality at Kirkstall. And these first few wins. Um, the first few sessions it was just about getting back into some good habits so uh, we've been on the field um, but we got back before the last lockdown and we just did a couple of field sessions they were just about getting getting the girls back into good habits small sided games core skills and get back up to scratch with that and up to speed with that and then this time round we've had five sessions before christmas fourth tonight fifth one next week um, and that's allowed us to get back into the gym as well uh, and do some snc so that's been good for the girls to have some support on their snc programs um, and like i say nothing nothing too uh, adventurous on the field just loads of core skill loads of um, high intensity games and just get the girls back into that that rhythm and that habit of, of playing under fatigue and playing and, and putting them core skills into practice under fatigue which you probably can't do on your own in the park when you're in lockdown it's been really different obviously um, not had any games yet um, but yeah I really enjoyed it it's it's a very different transition for me um, for anyone moving from player to, to coach but there's, there's a lot to think about and a lot to consider and I'm enjoying learning about all those things that I need to be considering and need to be thinking about and and that's what I'm ready for um, at the end of the day is the next stage in, in my development, in, in my career and also um, as a person. So it's, it's definitely challenging but it's one that I'm enjoying uh, and hope for just get back in, in 2021 and, and help the girls compete and, and have a really successful 2021. And for people who don't know Lois, um, there's some good news for you. <laughs> Coming next year. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, not many people know it yet. Um, so me and my partner Mark are expecting a baby in April. So um, yeah, really, really good news. Um, looking forward to a another challenge, another <laughs> another thing to add. But yeah, really excited. Um, but yeah, the time was right. And obviously we're always a pl the plan for after play and that plan came a little bit sooner. And um, yeah, we're both really, really um, excited and looking forward to April. Um, for two reasons, start of the Super League and start of the next, chap next chapter for us. That's what I was going to say, it doesn't mean the end of your working with the oh, no, no, no. Dry nose, it? No, I'm, I'm super lucky that um, Mark's really supportive and I've got a really supportive family on his side and my side with, with, with parents and grandparents to be. Um, I know that I'll obviously have to take some time for, for myself and, and my family um, to settle in and, and work out what, what, what you know, being a parent's going to throw at us, but um, said to the girls from the start that I'll, I'll still be looking to commit to them and um, the Gibbons twins and the, the support staff around them in like Sarah and Omar and and, and Ben at the club, Kev, uh, all amazing. So I know that I'll be well looked after, the girls will be well looked after and I think that people know they won't be able to keep me away for too long. Um, I'll be back, I'll be back and on that sideline as soon as I can, but um, won't be rushing it, I'll be making sure it's the right for everyone involved.